In this tutorial, I'll show you how to install PHP on your Mac. Now, to be able to run PHP files on your Mac, you will need to install the PHP, a web server such as Apache, and usually you'll need a database such as MySQL. Now we can go ahead and install the three of these separately, but there's a tool called XAMP. And what XAMP does is it installs all three of these softwares with just one simple installation. So what does XAMP mean? Uh, since it stands for cross-platform, meaning that XAMP is available for Macs, Windows, and Linux. Uh, it stands for Apache, uh, MySQL, PHP, and Perl. So again, it's XAMP is pretty much a package that will allow us to install all these softwares with just one simple and easy installation. Uh, upon installing XAMP, I'll show you how to run the PHP files on your Mac. Okay, let's get to work. First, I'm going to open Safari. Uh, then I'll open up Google. I'll search for XAMP. X -A -M -P -P. I'll open the first link. Now, this relates to what I mentioned about how XAMP is cross-platform. As you can see, XAMP here is available for Linux, for Windows, for Macs, and for Solaris. Uh, since we're now concerned with XAMP for Mac, I'm going to click XAMP for Mac. Scroll down a little bit. Now, there are a few packages uh, to install XAMP on your Mac, but usually the installer version is the easiest one to go with. So I'm going to go ahead and download the installer version. Uh, this might take some time on your computer, depending on your internet connection. And then opens the installer, which is basically an application that will guide you and help you to install XAMP on your Mac. I'll click continue. Uh, here you can alter the location of where you want XAMP installed. I'm going to go ahead with the default location. I'll click install. And provide your password on prompt. And it shouldn't take that long to install. Okay, now click close. Now I'm going to open up the Finder, go to Applications. I'll scroll down until I find the XM folder. I'll open that. And here you'll find the XM control panel. I'll open that and enter your password. Now, in the control panel, I can select which applications I currently need to be running. Now, as I mentioned, uh, two of the softwares that I needed were Apache and MySQL, so I needed these to be running. So I'll click Start and Start. Now, PHP is already running by default, so I don't need to worry about that. And I'll close that. So I'll go to my browser and write localhost. And there you have it. If you can see this page, that means the server is successfully installed and is currently running on your Mac. Uh, if you go ahead and click on the English here, uh, you'll find some useful information. You can find uh, some documentation for Apache, PHP. Uh, you'll find some uh, demo applications available with their source code. So if you're interested in that, you might uh, want to have a look. But now that you have the server installed, now what? Here's how you can run uh, your PHP files. Now, I have a PHP file here in my documents. Now, hello world, nothing fancy. I'll go ahead and copy that. I'll go back to applications. Open the XM folder. 
And notice there's a folder called hddocs. This is where all the PHP files that you want to run should be. So I'll open the folder and all I have to do is paste my PHP file. Now to run this, I just go to my browser, type localhost, forward slash, and the name of the file that I want to run. And there you have it. Now PHP is running on your Mac and you can run all of PHP files that you need. And for more videos and articles like these, please visit my blog, ilsg.blogspot.com. Thank you.